For me, social research methods are an ethical way to collect data and evidence um, to find more information about a topic. I'd say that research methods are the tools we use to understand and analyse the social world. It's training you to ask the right questions about something that you're interested about the world that we live in. It's essentially just trying to understand what the social world is. So exploring um, how do we understand what research actually is, how do we conduct research, who participates in research, and how do we understand people's social realities. Criminologists can use anything from quantitative studies right the way through to qualitative and even much more rarer forms such as participatory methods and arts-based methods, which is what I do. I used qualitative methods, so a mix of interviews, photo elicitation and digital ethnography uh, to explore women's experiences using weightlifting as a tool for recovery from eating disorders. In my master's I used research methods to look at a lot of sociological topics, uh, sexual violence against women, but also the body and consumer trends. Now in my PhD in politics, I use research methods mostly to still look at sexual violence, but in conjunction with law and policy. I'm using research methods in the area of statistical analysis, um, specifically statistical analysis of health, um, and I'm analysing trends in, in COVID infections. It's not just about asking the right questions, it's also about getting an ability to break up very complex, messy social processes into little units that you can then analyse to make your own theory and to ultimately conduct your own original research about the world around you. I'd say that it gives you lots of practical and research skills that are really useful if you want to stay in academia and really transferable if you want to move into other employment. Thank you.